Wish I had all tied your pants. But you can see here that there's all these different angles and corners people are firing on. <clears throat> For a newbie, it can be kind of intense because they're hearing a lot of paint hitting this thing. Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, it's Tony, the Reaper, and Joe. And we, today we are here at Hollywood Sports in California, and we are going to be going over some of what your favorite things. My hiding places. Now, don't tell anybody you're seeing this, okay? But um, I'm going to be showing them my little nooks and crannies where I hide. I'm going to tell you all the different fields, and I'll give you a little explanation. I've been playing here for about 10 years, and I love this place. So, welcome to Hollywood Sports, and welcome to my home field. Let's do it. Let's go. Reaper secrets. I'm here too. <laughs> All right, Reaper. So where are we going? So this is so this, this is, this the is like the tunnel. This is the tunnel. I love this. Walk. Like I feel like I'm in an NFL stadium. Yeah, exactly. I'm getting hyped. So, all the uh, everyone's getting. We ready? We getting fun? No, this is cool. All I love the advertisements this. Advertisements are, are along here, and Just basically, it, yeah. so basically this field has been cut into uh, about four or five different things. They keep on chopping it up to make it different all the time. But this is just amazing. Um, all uh show you once we get up there like the major fields and then I'll show you the smaller one too. So, oh, so this like splits off into... Yeah, it's our yeah. central hub. Yeah. So this is, uh, uh, this is Lunar Wars, Forbidden City, Mad Max, and APOC, as and we call it. LA. Escape LA. Escape LA. So this is awesome. So you come down the tunnel and you come in this area and you have all your different fields just kind of branches off yep. each way. So the awesome. way the tunnel works is um, it's like two-way traffic, obviously. Right side is exit, left, uh, right side this way is entrance. Um, but we've got, we can just rotate private fields, um, walk-ons, anything. Um, that's what we've got that dispatch for. So they, you know, mark off who's, who's on what play field. Right, yeah, right. yeah. Awesome. So apocalypse. apocalypse. Here we go. Reaper's favorite spots in apocalypse. Well, this, we go. this is our most famous field. So... Wow. Again, you guys, all of the fields that you're about to see today were built from the ground up. They're hard, hard sturdy structures, um, and uh, they all have their own feet. Yeah? So the yep, one we're going to be looking hard. at right now is one of my favorite fields. Basically, everybody's favorite field. It's called APOC. That's what we call it here, uh, or Apocalypse. Apocalypse has um, burnt out buildings, some buses, uh, maybe a little airplane over there. And what we do basically is the, the regular players, we all know where to go. So when they blow the whistle, we know where to run, what to do. I'm gonna show you that right now. Again, don't tell anybody I'm showing you this, okay? <laughs> all right, so come on over here. So where are the starting points, Reaper? So the starting point, the starting point right now is right here for this team. And where that, uh, you see where the long bus is? Yep. There's like that little structure po popping out. That's, this, that's the other starting point. So you can actually even see your opponent. And if you want to, you can do like what I do, is I wave at them and tell them where I'm gonna be. All right, I'm gonna be here, okay? So this is all of APOC. Now we have these roads that go this way, and these roads cut the actual, part, uh, the actual fields, right? So this one's APOC, this one's Mad Max. These are the out of bounds, and usually when, when you get shot out, you hang out over here, or you can hang out over the side. Cool? Okay, so what we're going to do is show you some of the buildings. Come over here, you guys. And these buildings are very close quarter combat. You can see how they are set up like this. I can be hiding here like this. I can get shot through here. I can get shot through here. So when um, Bear and Geo designed this place, that's what they had in mind. It's kind of like a burnt out house, kind of close quarter combat. And the firefights are intense here. So I here, over here, I can maybe hold down a lane like this over here, right? Or as I'm walking by, get shot by somebody, right? Nice. So what a lot of us do when, the, uh, when they blow the whistle is we actually run to the 50 or as far as, far as we can, kind of hang out and stage. Um, the newbies will usually hang out and hold this area down kind of thing. We call this area the church. 
a lot of times here, um, just for the safety precautions, whether it's there, there could be a bee's nest or there's something like happened, they'll block it off, and which is good. And then, then they're very good about immediately fixing things. Okay. Can you go inside the buses and that? Uh, you can't. The buses are off. I mean, we can, but you can't play in them, right? Those are out of bounds. Okay. So what I would do is come over here. I would be running through here. Watch your head up here. I would run through here, make an immediate right through here. Now, if I feel like they've already like overtaken us, I'll hang out here. Reaper creeping in the corner. Now, Camper. what do I have? Two pistols. I've got two pistols. Right? And I'm like this. So I can actually see everything that's going on in case they come in. Also, the big thing that we do here, look on the ground. Look at your shadows. You gotta watch right? for the shadows. I'm always watching for shadows when people are coming in. So let's say that they didn't overtake it. So I'd run over here, run through here. Get to about here. From here, again, I can see if they're running this way past me, or if I can see that they're in the church over here. We call it the church, right? Then I can also do this. I can also view this side to see what's going on. They normally don't see what's, what's happening, so I'm just like this. I would never shoot them like this, but what I would do is when I see this in open area, I would then now take off. This is the 50, and this is the thing that actually stalls a lot of people. They're like, I'm not gonna cross it. You run across here, if you can make it through this building or through the 50, usually these people are kind of like mellowed out. Oh, we're going to shoot from a distance. Now you just overtake everybody. You just run through and start going like this. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Bam, like this. Keep on going. By the time you get to this point, it's the same thing as an artichoke. <laughs> an artichoke is a hard on the outside, soft on the inside. This is the soft part. This is where a lot of the players that didn't want to be aggressive are hanging out, so it's just easy, easy to overwhelm them. Once you're on this side, what I usually do is head down this way to what we call the zipper. If I'm already on this side, you guys are in trouble because you guys are focused on shooting us this way, and I'm already behind you. Now, there's probably guys holding down the barrel shooting this way. This is called the zipper. That's usually where the pros hit first. So when they ran, I went left, they'll go right, they'll go inside the zipper and do snap shooting. Now, I'm over here and they're seeing me and I'm waving at them to stop shooting. And it's my job just to collect souls. Once we own this package, then they just start flooding. Now, again, don't tell anybody I showed you this. Okay, so this is just one of the techniques that I do. On the way back, I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm running down through the same buildings that we just talked about, and then trying to go around the back way here and hit them from behind on the zipper. A lot of times the players, um, they don't have um, boots, or good shoes, so they're kind of hesitant to walk a lot of times, which is good for me because I can just run through this stuff and not have to worry about that. What kind of boots do you wear? Oh, are you serious? Yeah. I wear the outside gear boots. The outside gear boots are waterproof, smell proof. No, <laughs> they're they're waterproof, and uh, <clears throat> they're um, they have a thing called super fabric where you can actually like take a knife and try to cut it, and it's not going to cut. These are amazing oh, We boots. at Lobo Paintball know all about our all-time oh, boots. Oh, yeah. nice. All-time gear <laughs> boots, right? Today's a great day to use your all-time gear boots. All right, so this was Apocalypse. Yep. Let's on to the next. No worries.
All right, so next up, so this is Mad Max. This is called Mad Max. These are a lot of these containers that are like this. Um, where you see that green area over there, that's actually where that, that side starts. Okay, and then over here, they would run this way. And over here, let me show you this. Where you see that, like those little red, pinkish kind of things, mm -hmm. that's where the other team will start. All right. So they swarm and they all do kind of this kind of maneuver on both sides. All right. This so is kind of the same thing as a zipper over here, where everybody's hiding and shooting and snap shooting. If you can uh, take over the containers, then you can push forward. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's walk through the middle. So that yeah, let's actually back. see. So yes. Yeah. You see these? We don't use them. <laughs> <laughs> This is for airsoft. We're sorry. <laughs> okay. But uh, it's right out here, so the one team's starting in that corner. Yep. The one team's starting over in that corner where that red flag is. Everybody gets and this up. is the battlefield. So where is the best spot on this field? Well, most of the thing, most of the action happens around the corners and not in the middle. All right. So what happens is I'll run through this container over here, and I'll actually wait and hide and let the battle proceed. And then what's going to happen is they'll pass me like they're thinking it's, well, we got it. Then I'll pop out and... Hello. Shoot you soon. There you go. Boom. So uh, what's happening is a lot of times because of our rains, we've got this beautiful uh, camouflage kind of thing. So a lot of people can uh, hide in there if you're really small. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, you're good. But you can see here, a lot of these containers. Come on, I'd be afraid somebody's going to shut the door on me. Lucky for us, we're wearing our Altai gear boots. Always. Wish I had Altai gear pants. But you can see here that there's all these different angles and corners people are firing on. <clears throat> For a newbie, it can be kind of intense because they're hearing a lot of paint hitting this thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mad Max is the name of this field, and it's been fantastic. Mm. All right, so next up, what's the next? Uh, can we go in the towers? Up? Uh, no, nope. you, can't, no, you can't go into the towers. You can't climb on any of the build, on the, 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 the cars. You can't climb on any of the structures. Okay. This is one of the newest fields. This is one of the newest fields. It's called Escape LA. And it starts here. Well, it actually here. Come over here. I'll show you here. What they've done. What they've done on this field is they actually cut Mad Max. All right. This was all Mad Max at one time. Huge, right? Oh, that would have been nice. Uh, Escape LA starts here and on the other side over there. This one does have a walkable tower you can go to. Oh, so is this your favorite spot? No, I usually will go over there on the side, the corners. So Escape LA, so this is the tower? This one's the tower over here. So Oh, that's a do not enter. Oh, that would have oh hey Reaper, nice, nice to see you down there. Hey, hey is that Tony from Lone Wolf Paintball? Wow. Oh, we haven't yeah. seen that guy in weeks. Nice tour. So anyway, all of these shacks are playable inside. Okay. A lot of intense firefight goes on here. They won't have played, but when they come out, they're completely covered in yellow. Okay, so one of the games that Bear likes to do is attack and defend. He'll get uh, maybe 20 guys up here versus maybe 100 walk-ons or whoever else, and that's it. <laughs> you just hang out up here, and it's a, it's a hell of a thing to be involved in. It's a nice view. Yeah. I see my house from here. If you're not playing the attack and defend game, this would actually be a great place too to maybe hold it down. Oh, <laughs> nice. Got caught in the net. A little perch. Nice. So this is escape from LA. So what 
What field is straight out this way? My ultimate happiest best memories at that field. So that's, that's where we're home. going next, boys. We're going to Reaper's Happy Place. Yeah. Oh! Um, you that, saw Happy Gilmore. You know all about it. Oh, Madison Avenue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, that's actually um, called Forbidden City, and we'll give you a tour of that. The Forbidden City? Okay. And what's that one behind us? That's so that is um, Raccoon City. That is a airsoft field. Oh. This is my number one ultimate favorite happy place to be when I play at Hollywood Sports. This is called Forbidden City. Why am I so happy to play here? Because of the maze. The maze? Have you ever seen the videos that I do that I'm inside the maze and I'm tracking down people? Wait, the Matrix? Yeah, the Matrix. Right, exactly. Really? That's where we're going to go right now is we're going to go to Forbidden City. Follow me. Forbidden City has a lot of tunnels. One team will start up here. Another team will start completely opposite. Remember the road that I showed you, the splits? Yes. Yeah. There's this road that split everything. That's where they, they would start. So you can run through here. Oh, yeah, that. Oh, boy. All right, see you on the other side. And you hit, you hit the maze. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, the maze is very close quarter combat. I would come into the maze like this and have both areas covered. Come around the corner. There might be some firefights going on here, so I want to back away. Then what I'll do is the other team is actually approaching from my back, this way. So again, I'll, ha <clears throat> I'll hang out like this, or I'll hang out like that. Right now, like, you hear that? Yep. Uh, so do I. It's a combat yeah. situation. Bam! 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 Bam. Right? Okay. But is there, uh... So then, what I'm doing is, now, I have my options of shooting like this. I can shoot out like that, bam, bam, bam. And then once I control the maze, Oops. Lost them. Oh. I got out of the it's maze. It's so nice. oh, oh. was... This is all inside the maze here. And I've got angles I can hit like this. Now, again, the opposing team is coming this way. I would come over here. I've got a shot this way. i got a shot down there. I come over here. I literally have no idea where I am. Yep. Exactly, right? I do. So I can do again. Now let's say that they've let's say they've uh, overrun us. I can shoot them from behind here. I, I just want to make like sure this. we get the most use out of our boots. Come over here. Nope, that's not the right way either. You have to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a sneaky reaper. Okay. <laughs> so now we're on their other side. Now, if they hypothetically have already overrun us, so that means they're all behind. Now I can just go either through the another tunnel and cut them off. Oh wow, and that oh, splits no. off into another direction. Right, like this. So a three-way tunnel on this field, that you can run up top. Now most of the time that the, the newbies are hanging out in back, so you have to run through the tunnels and take them out. And the pros are over here snap shooting. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Justin. It's for you. The pros. I should have put it on vibrate, sorry. The pros are snap shooting. <laughs> sorry, family. <laughs> Any minute now. <laughs> Never. Okay. Gotta crazy? move, gotta move. <laughs> okay, I've been playing here since I started, 2008. <clears throat> I used to get beat up so badly here until you figured out everything. Now, eh, I enjoy it. <laughs> Come in, figure it out, 
don't don't be mean to the, the newbies surrender them um, just have an amazing time this is an amazing field let's go show you another one this is called lunar wars lunar wars is that way because everything looks kind of spaced this has containers It has, we call it a maze, but it's kind of an open maze. So people can actually shoot in, but you run through this maze, and if you can actually conquer this maze, you can conquer the field. It's very hard to conquer this maze because once you get inside here, you can see all the open areas. So these guys that are pup players, you know what I'm saying? They can yep. like bam, bam. So there's a lot of intense fighting going on here. So you work yourself all the way through the maze. You're getting crop shots across the field. You're crawling on your belly on this one. We're duking it out. I'm like, doo, doo. Yep. Get out you soon. Oh, uh -huh. oh. you now. If you can, again, get to the point where you can actually get through this maze because of, Whoa. yeah, a lot of Just when I thought we were through, we were halfway. Exactly. So these guys are hiding in here, over here. I want to hide in there. Yeah, that's right. We've seen the maze, so it kind of the maze continues down the sideline. You're trying to run the whole sideline, shooting at the guys in we the maze. What is that like? This like a Wars. Star Wars thingy. So we're getting down. So like Reaper said, you can see. So this maze kind of goes around runs the whole side of the field. Is that a giant turtle shell? And then they get into the back in here. You got your Star Wars looking huts. Now this is a field, guys. Big old tower. So as you yeah, out of the ah! And right. then Re Reaper comes out and shoots come everyone. Out the maze. So now I've got this covered. Come over here. Some more intense firefight going on over here. These guys are trying to break out and go along the sideline here. And the other team is in the tent. What point do you pop the grenades and start throwing smoke? Not here, you can't do it in, in California, in Los Angeles. Oh, no smoke bombs? No. Nope. Both teams are fighting it out. This game is based on elimination or usually the game lasts about 10 minutes. Then we switch sides. All the way up into the platform stuff. So, nice. The big metal one? Huh? Yeah. Let's... Alrighty guys, well uh, for the most part, probably close this out then. Alright Reaper. So those are the four primary fields. It's um, Mad Max, Apocalypse, um, uh, Forbidden City, and Lunar Wars. Uh, we also visited Escape LA too. Part of... Uh, um, this field here has been cut off to another part area, and we've got another kind of a maze situation, so it's kind of a cool thing. Awesome. We don't have time to show you everything. Yeah, yeah, walk-ons are about to start playing, guys, so we want to thank Reaper very much for showing us pretty much a highlight of all the incredible fields out here. It's something you truly have to see to believe. Um, I'm excited to get out there and start playing, so let's head up top. Uh, thanks, though, to Reaper. Make sure you like this video. Follow and Reaper. Shoot you soon. Shoot you soon, and check out Hollywood Sports Park, too. Signing off.